Or you could always add this armadillo basket to it. Oh my god, I do love armadillos. And that would really complete the look. See what I mean? 33 on this. Sold. Okay, well, Sue and I decided to hit Salvation Army today. I was walking in the door, and there's a box with two hanging swag lamps in it for $4.99. And in the next box is a gorgeous carnival glass vase. So I decided to go grab my camera from the car. Let's go see what else we can find. I mean, come on, he doesn't need a unicorn, am I right? You have my lovely vase. Thank you for oh, holding you. it for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stay right there. Don't, Don't move. move. Yes. Don't move a muscle. I know it's not gonna stick. Ooh. Hello, Mercury glass. I know. We were just taking it. That's some nice glass. Ooh, it's March of Pure One. I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah. It's a Pure One beef. A nice wreath for the front door, maybe. Gotta always check the purses, because you just never know. It looks like a Burberry print. Probably a knockoff. I'm gonna put you right here. It's too chintzy. Definitely not a Burberry. box purse. That's fun. I might get that one. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, vintage. Yeah. I'll that take is... a box purse. Yes. That's you know, that... fun and artsy craftsy. That's, is that vintage? It is vintage. Like, it was probably like a little a trinket box. And they just strapped a handle to it. Yeah. I like it. This is becoming super trendy. And you know what? What? I'm betting this was actually intended to be a purse. That lining looks... What does the tag say? Fashioned by... Oh, okay, you're right. That was made by an individual. Remember what I was talking to you about, about that whole toddler grandma thing? Yes. That, that is like a thing. I like things that are things. What does that say? Liz Claiborne, no thank you. And You like it? Yes, I do. Want? A big part of the look. Want. Oh my god, I'm buying too many lamps today. Somebody stop me. Too bad Andrew's not here. <laughs> That's delightfully vintage, isn't it? Yeah. And it's got little purple things that light up purple when yes. you light it. Okay, we've got just a few things here. I got this awesome lamp, this carnival glass vase, and this purse that's on my arm that I can't really show you right now. Um, I'm going to put these up front and I'm going to keep looking. See what else we can find today. So this is coming home with me. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little Derringer ashtray. I'm not a smoker, but a smoker would pay 20 bucks for this to smoke and put cigarettes on it. You hit two markets with this. You hit the tobacco market, um, you know, people who collect vintage special interest ashtrays and you hit the gun market. Yes. Nailed it. $20 bill. One more here. Um, $1.99. I freaking love those lamps. Swag. They're so swagful. <laughs> $14.79. Alrighty, let's see if I can take in here for my card. Okay, well Sue and I just stole a bunch of stuff from Salvation Army. I'm just joking, we didn't actually steal it. We got a really good deal on it though. 
like way too good to be true. 99 cents for a carnival glass face. You've got to be kidding me. The prices have gone down, but not that much. So now we're gonna head to the antique shop and get some more goodies. Right, Sue? Absolutely. Let's go. Sue just found some East Lake. Sue, tell us about your East Lake. How much do they want for it? $25. Now, as you can see from the top, it needs to be cleaned up, but that is a very easy clean. Or you could just put a lacy thing on top of it. That's what I would do. <laughs> I'm willing to clean it. <laughs> the thing is, this is a nice little piece. Um, it looks like it's walnut with veneers. Nice piece. I... Mm. Is I it coming home, home with us? I think so, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Well, there's room in the car. You could always add this armadillo basket to it. Oh my god, I do love armadillos. And that would really complete the look. See what I mean? 33 on this. Sold. Wait. Nice bridge lamp. Yeah. How much? 33. 33. They don't sell for what they used to sell for. Mm. Let's think about it. I'll have to think about that one. You know, got it off the Amazon end table. Instead of something really nice. And this is nice. Hmm. Oh. 75. See, I, I know my kind of lamps. I know nothing about these kind of lamps. If it was mid-century modern, I'd be like, oh, cool. Mid-century modern, I know what that's worth, but I have no idea what this is worth. These are a lot old. And these are a, a beast in their own. There's like a special look. This guy even has little little uh, pulleys, cranks. Yeah. So that you can adjust the drop on the lamp. <sighs> they had glass shades, as you can see. Well, this is the thing, right? This, I'll have to look this up. I'm gonna look this one up on eBay. I would. Let's see what they're selling for, because I'm sure the dealer already did, and that's why it's 75 bucks, but I don't know anything about those kind of lamps. Oil lamp chandelier is what I would put in. Oh my God, look at him. Watch, watch. I've got almost no signal either. But oh my gosh, oh look my at God. him. Oh, oh, his little head is moving. Oh my God, he is so precious. He's $4. I think he has to come home with me. I think like, I, I'm not even gonna buy him for resale. I think this little guy is my new best friend. Is he gonna go in with your little spaghetti poodle? Oh, of course he is. All my spaghetti poodles, he'll fit right in. He is adorable. Oh look, it's the same table. I'm in oak, and this is 135. 135, and look, right, 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 wait, don't wanna run into anything. 135, 25. I'd say you got a pretty good deal, Sue. The only thing it's missing, and this is my only complaint, are the little claw foot feet. But that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry, did I happen to mention I have a whole set of those at home? Perfect. Oh, vintage That'll work. If ever I'm missing my boyfriend, I just have to come in here and look at his picture. <laughs> How funny is that? They just took a stock picture of a privy dig off the internet and it just so happens, happens to be Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> Two and a half hours from Philadelphia and there's Drew and Carlisle. I just spotted another lamp. This is like, what do they call it? It's like a, something to do with lava. Lava glaze, I think. Mid-century modern lamp for 19 bucks. Original shade. You can't oh, yeah. beat that for 19 bucks. He knew those. I was coming in oh, today. Those. I told him I was coming in today and he just delivered on the awesomeness that is this lamp. I don't even know how I would ship it. Right up here. Oh, I have the boxes. Remember, I was talking about that oh, earlier. Oh, yes, you have boxes. Look at those colors. Um, more valuable to me. This one is not East Lake, but it's got the awesome clawfoot feet. But they've been painted and, and that's so sad that sort of been an issue. Painted. 
but it's it's got really nice detailing on this bottom it shell. Does. This, however, lacks the character of the East Lake. But it's a good piece. It's in good shape. I just want something else that's definitely going to come home with me. Um, it's not something I buy very often because I don't know much about it. But I know it has to be worth more than what they're asking. This right here. It's a saddle blanket. Leather with a silver ornateness. We'll throw in KG and Rini's word Our there. Our friend over here. Yeah, this is another one. Has a piece of silver as well. He does, but it's not as pretty. No, it isn't. How much is this He's one? 45 and he's 45. This one's the better deal. They're worth 100 bucks. Oh, I'm sure they're worth more than that. So I don't know if I should buy both of them. What do you think? Why isn't it focused? If you're choosing between the two, you take this one. No questions asked. I mean, it's just, it's that simple. I'll this sell it one for is, 150 Um, I would take a good hard look at the market because you might be selling short at 150 mm. Seriously, take a good look at that market. All right. It's absolutely worth what you're paying for it. I'm buying a saddle blanket. I just can't help myself. I'm buying a saddle blanket and I'm buying that. The it's a lava glaze. Man. I'm pretty sure that's what I was trying to think of. It's a monstrosity. I think I can get like a hundred bucks for Someone it. Someone will want this monstrosity. All right, so I just found something that was kind of cool and it caught my attention because it is essentially a lamp. But not really. It's not really a lamp. It's kind of a lamp. And I couldn't find a plug to actually plug it in because I thought that would be cool. But I'm going to let you check it out. It's for 19 bucks. It'll sell for around $100. Here we go. Ta-da! And I didn't know what it was at first. I'm looking up like fireplace lamp. Sue says, this well, that's a dollhouse. Dollhouse, dollhouse this miniature. Is a, a standard scale dollhouse, which is one inch to a foot. And of course, you have the fireplace, the overmantel. And I'm not sure what happens when you plug this in. I really want to know. Pro well, I'm betting the fireplace lights up. Um, so you have two markets for this. You have lamp people and you have dollhouse people. Yeah. And it's actually very good quality uh, in terms of the miniature work. I'll take it. So, oh yes. I'm spending all sorts of money fine. today. <laughs> Definitely good fine. Good fine. I'm all, I'm all good finds today. Oh, you're making out like a bandit today. Bandit. You really are. I'm stealing stuff, basically. Not really. It's something that I'm always looking for are Fitz and Floyd teapots. Because some Fitz and Floyd is very collectible. So I saw a piece back here. It's not a teapot, but it struck me. And I looked it up, and it is Fitz and Floyd. Sorry, I'm just checking out this. Awesome locker for $95. Um, Fitz and Floyd. This is a, I'm totally butchering this. Chine Blanc, it's B-L-A-N-C. And that's what they call the white Chinese porcelain. It's not actually Chinese. It does have a broken foot, but now I'm reconsidering. $10 and you can't really tell. I could probably get 20 bucks for them. Maybe 30. It's worth it. It's money. It's profit. And I'll take it. I think we're going to get out of here, though. We've got lots of stuff we still have to do. We have to get the kids at 6. It's in like one hour. So, I'll catch you guys next time. Well, that just happened. Just my luck. Grr. Good thing I only paid $4.99 for those. But it still sucks. It's like $150 right there. Oh, okay. Before I end this video, I want to extend an invite to all of my viewers here on YouTube to hop on over and check out this new app called Firework. I've just opened up an account and I've started posting content over there in addition to my content here on YouTube. So I look forward to seeing you guys over there. I'll post a link down below so you can check that out. Deep in the woods, deep in the woods, it was ringing real good. Ten inches down, 
ten inches down with a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon for perks, and down below in the description, you'll find links to all my recommended gear.